Hello, Aquarius. Hello to all of the Aquarians out there. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. I'm going to be doing a love reading for all of the Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of May 11th through May 17th. Aquarians, I thank you for all of the views. You know, I'm new to YouTube. I'm just like a beginner. And I really appreciate all of the views that I had this week. And um, I'll just say that if the reading resonates or if it resonated with your situation... Could you please share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future videos? I'm going to start your reading at this time because your cards are coming out. Your um, current energy is the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. You have the Ten of Wands. Influencing this energy, your past energy, spirit. What is the past energy for the sign of Aquarius? What is the past energy? Okay, we have the Ten of Cups, your immediate past energy is the Eight of Wands. Want to make sure you're able to see all the cards. Because I know um, last week when I reviewed, after I had already um, posted, but I watched, back, went back and reviewed, and for some reason, all of the cards didn't show up. Your overall or crowning thoughts is the king of wands. Your future energy is the moon. The moon, that's Pisces energy. Or you could have Pisces in your chart or a Pisces in your environment. What's the, um, what are you fearing at this time, Aquarius? We have the three of cups. You have the Three of Cups. How do others see you at this time? How do others... Okay. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. That's your energy, Aquarius. What are you hoping for? Aquarius, what are you hoping for? What are your hopes? We have the strength card. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo. We have the sun card here and the strength card. Both came out. Both of those are Leo cards. Or you could have Leo in your chart, but <clears throat> your outcome is <clears throat> your outcome. Okay. Your outcome is the six of wands, more fire energy. And you have the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. The Knight of Swords. All right, Aquarius, let's get into this reading. So you have... Your current energy is the Sun card. So right now, you could be dealing with a Leo, or you could have Leo in your chart. However, the sun represents happiness, illumination, healing, thinking of greater things, positive energy. You're in a good mood right now. You're in a good mood right now, Aquarius.
this, you could be feeling like this because you felt like you had the weight of the world on your shoulders with this Ten of Wands. Maybe you felt like you, and this, this energy could be reversed. This could be you or your partner. Someone feels or felt, someone feels, because this is your current energy, and this Ten of Wands is what's influencing it. Flu, what's influencing it. You felt as though you had the weight of the world on your, on your, you were carrying the weight of, of the world on your back. You are your partner. And you were tired, but you were still moving forward. So right now, with this sun card, after this work that you put in, you're happy. You're happy right now. In the past, you had the Ten of Cups. A happy family. A happy home. A happy life. Stability. Security. And it could have been because of some quick, fast action that was taken or a conversation that took place. So there was some type of communication that turned <clears throat> this situation around. Someone put in some work to um, bring forth this happiness. So right now, with the king, with the king of wands, and your crowning thoughts, someone has taken leadership in this situation. Someone has taken leadership. They took action with the communication, and they're taking a lead in the situation with the king of wands. And in the future, you have the moon card. You have the moon card. That's Pisces energy. So, with the moon card, you, Aquarius, could feel uncertain or your partner could feel uncertain. But someone is uncertain about this situation and it could be some type of um, something secret that's going on because the the moon represents the night um the darkness something being done in the dark or behind the scenes but <clears throat> something that someone is uncertain about the situation someone is uncertain about the situation and it could be because it could be a third party with this three of cups because this is what you fear. You fear the Three of Cups. So you could be fearing a third party situation. But others see you as the Queen of Swords in reverse. So this is your partner seeing you as the Queen of Swords in reverse. They see you as not cutting them off. Being easy, going. Um, maybe being, um, you know, more, a little more friendlier, um, a little, maybe being a little more relatable. You are hoping for the strength card and this is the other Leo card. You're hoping for strength in this situation because... You want a, a stable outcome, a successful outcome with the six of wands. You you want you hope you're hoping for strength in the situation so that there could be a successful outcome. So last week your partner 
Your partner's energy wasn't in this reading, but this week it is. There's another energy here. And as I said, it could be a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Leo. Because I have the sun card here with the strength card. And I have... I have a lot, of, there's a lot of fire in this um, reading. And someone is definitely dealing with a Leo, but let's, um, let's clarify this moon card. the moon card here for the sign of Aquarius. Okay, that didn't take long. We had two cards that came out. The first card that came out was the Fool card. So, this could have something to do with an Aries. The Fool card represents an Aries. There could be an Aries in the mix. Or Aquarius, this could be your energy too. Because the fool, the fool is, um, The fool is okay. The fool, I think the fool is Uranus energy. It represents Uranus. Is Aries and um, Aquarius. Yeah. So, okay. So, in the future, someone is uncertain about this journey. That's what the un uncertainty is in this um, situation. Someone is not sure about where the situation is going with the food car showing up to clarify. And it's definitely is love because they're the Queen of Cups came out with the Fool card. So there's uncertainty in this situation because someone doesn't know where it's going to end up. Or there's uncertainty because someone is juggling. Because that's what you fear, Aquarius. You fear that there's more than there's there's three people so you fear you fear that there are too many people in this situation and that is why you are uncertain about where this is going with this food court and with the queen of cups coming out on top this could have something to do with a a water sign because this is the queen of cups right here so you could feel as though you could have this uncertainty because you don't know where the situation is going and it could be because of a female water sign because this is the queen of cups and this this is the queen it could be a it could be a male or a female I'm just going off of how the cards are um, coming out. But that's female energy. And um, so that could be the reason why you're hoping for strength in this situation. Because you want your outcome to be successful with this, this um, six of wands. You want a successful outcome. So... Let's pull some cards for your partner to see what their energy is. 
I'm doing it like this because last week when I uh, did your um, reading, I got a lot of views when I checked for your partner's energy. Or I, I got more views. So thank you again, Aquarius. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> All right. What's the... um. What's the current energy for Aquarius partner? What's their energy? Okay. Okay. So they have the Seven of Pentacles. Their current energy is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. So with the Seven of Pentacles, they're working. They're working hard and they're waiting for, they're working hard and they're um, waiting to be rewarded. Spirit, how does Aquarius partner feel about this situation? How does Aquarius partner feel about this situation? The chariot, the chariot card came out. So this could have something to do with the cancer because the chariot card represents cancer, but they could feel as if they want to move on or move forward. They want to move forward because the chariot represents movement. So they could be um, moving forward with something. Let's see. Spirit, why is the chariot card here for Aquarius partner? Why is the chariot card here for Aquarius partner? Excuse me. Why is the chariot card here for Aquarius partner? Okay. Oh, the sun card came out again. Leo. That's a, a Cancer and a Leo card. Um, so, Aquarius, your partner could be moving forward. Okay, so they could be working. They could be working for... Working on their finances to move forward or to move to move forward with a cancer and because this makes them happy or because they want happiness. Um there could be a little girl. Or a child in the mix, because there's this is a little girl on this horse. Let me look at these cards. <clears throat> They're working patiently, working and waiting patiently, maybe for financial stability. Could be because of a cancer or because they want to, someone is a cancer or can have cancer in their chart, but they're working hard to move forward, to be happy. <clears throat> and something, something has to do with a the child. There's a child in this situation, a little girl, something about a little girl. Here, why is the sun card? Why is the sun card there for Aquarius partner? Why is the sun card there? Something. Okay. Now we have the Eight of Pentacles. So.
They're working hard. on their finances and they either with the chariot cart are moving forward moving forward towards happiness And regarding a job with their eight of pentacles, regarding a job, <clears throat> I'm going to pour one more spirit. Okay. Two cards wanted to come out. So moving, moving forward in a new job, moving forward and financially because of conflict, some type of conflict with this five of swords. And they want a new beginning in love with the ace of cups. They want a new beginning in love. So let's pull a love oracle card. I'll pull three. I usually pull three. Let's make sure all the cards can be seen. Spirit. Spirit, can I have a love oracle card for the sign of Aquarius? Can I have a love oracle card for the sign of Aquarius? <clears throat> okay. Soulmates. We have soulmates here. And it says, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. So Aquarius, you have a soul contract with your partner. You guys are soul soulmates. Spirit, can I have another love oracle card? Okay, we have palm tree. Palm tree. It says stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. So this love is, or this situation has roots. One more love oracle card for the sign of Aquarius. Okay, too many cards trying to come out. One more love oracle card for the sign of Aquarius. We have the butterfly. The butterfly, it says relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. So we have two um, cards here that says growth. And maybe that's what, why that chariot card is there because something is, um, and then you have the seven of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. So this, this something is growing in this situation. It could be the foundation of the situation but you and your partner are moving forward if there is a third party situation i don't see too much of that energy but i see it here so i'm not saying that it's not here but for this upcoming week your partner you and your partner's energy are um you have loving energy towards one another. There's loving a lot of loving energy here this week. So Aquarius, that's your reading for the week of May 11th through May 17th. I hope this reading resonates with your situation. If so, share, like, and please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. For upcoming videos be safe i'm sending light love peace and healing energy into the world 
Enjoy your weekend and your upcoming week. I will I thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.